Oh, that was hard. Why? Well, Ryan, you just walked up a really steep side of a volcano. What volcano? This volcano. That's a volcano? Yeah, right over there is the center of the volcano. And we're sitting on top of cinders that were thrown out of the volcano. What's a cinder? These are cinders. What are they? Okay. Imagine this is the bottom of the volcano. Stuff's thrown out of the center of the volcano, and it starts to build up around the side. So eventually, when enough stuff's thrown up, thrown out, you get a steep-sided volcano. It's just layer upon layer upon layer upon layer upon layer of stuff that's ejected out of the volcano, falling down on top of each other. How far does cinder travel? Well, we're sitting about a quarter mile from the center of the volcano. So these cinders traveled about a quarter mile. They can go further than that, a mile. So if this is cinder, it's so small. I mean, are they all this small? Well, some are real small. Some are a little small. Some are big and some are the size of Volkswagens. Ooh. But Stephanie, I still don't get it. I mean, where else are we going to see this in the real world? Have you ever made spaghetti? Yeah. All right. Well, think of a pot of spaghetti sauce. You got the heat cranked up real high and the sauce starts boiling. You get bubbles and then next thing you know you've got sputtering spaghetti sauce. You've got spatters of sauce all over your kitchen stove. And that's exactly what's going on over here. Yeah, why don't we go take a look? Okay. Go down the crater. Hey! 